Uh, Winston Moss, a former great player, played for over a decade in the NFL and was the associate head coach of the Green Bay Packers a couple of weeks ago. Mike McCarthy is out. You put a tweet out, Winston, a couple of days ago. Uh, I didn't. I thought it was totally inoffensive. Didn't bother me. Thought it was a stand-up guy. I think most of your tweets are always kind of positive, and you're kind of a positive guy. Absolutely. Um, you were let go about an hour and a half after this. Do, do you? Were you surprised by the overreaction? Most definitely. I, I felt as though um, it was taken out of context. I felt as though the the biggest issue I had was not being able to fully address it either with the decision makers, um, either with my teammates. I didn't have a chance to even say even, even goodbye to the fellow coaches. And so that's, that's the only sore spot. That's the only regret I have. I don't have a regret about the tweet. What you said I, doesn't bother you. The, what I said doesn't bother me, but not being able to clear the air with the, at least within the organization and with the players – that that bothers me. Listen, one of the things that people jump to is, hey, find somebody that's going to hold number 12 and everybody in the building. Now, you did say everybody in the building, but all of us glom on to number 12. I have through the years said that what makes Breeze special is there's a leadership DNA with Drew. I see it with Russell Wilson. There, and now, arrog- arrogance is okay a little bit, but I do question... Aaron Rodgers' leadership. Don't question his talent. I don't question his passion, Winston. I don't question his devotion to the sport. But I'm going to ask a question that may be tough. Is he a great leader? Well, first of all, I agree with everything that you said. And you can look at Drew Brees. Take, for instance, pregame, you see him getting his teammates up. You see him rah, 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 rah. Now, that doesn't mean that they're going to go out and play well. You see Tom Brady. You see Tom Brady high-fiving his offensive line, going down to the defense and say, hey, defense, give him the ball back, yada, yada, yada. You see Russell Wilson is so much of a spiritual influence. He has such an energy about himself. Yes. And so – with that being said, you take that in comparison to Rodgers, and so it's not Green, Green Bay fans don't kill me on this here. I got to go back to you guys. I got to live there. Um, that's that's not Aaron Rodgers' cup of tea, and so you can't fault him for it. You you have to embrace every guy individually on an individual basis, and so. If Aaron Rodgers chooses not to lead that way, chooses not to lead that way, can you really fault him? Do we want him to be more of a vocal leader? Absolutely. Absolutely. But it's not his DNA. But if that's not his DNA, then you need to find somebody around him that's going to be able to pick up where he is not lacking in. But whether he chooses not to be that type of leader or whether it's not in his DNA, then we all need to rise up and 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 help him out. You know, Winston Moss joining us. Winston, um, and I think this happens in a lot of different businesses, where if you work with somebody that's really talented, you can take advantage of them. Could I make the argument that Aaron is so gifted that Green Bay, the organization, they really haven't given him a ton of great defenses. They haven't paid for free agents. He just now has a running back I love. Did the organization lean on Aaron a little too much? I would answer that with, I would come back with you with this. Ted Thompson has a draft plan. He has a, goal, he has a way of going about his, his whole draft process. Brian Gutekers this past year right. has a draft process. Now you have to question whether that draft process is putting the players on the field that is given a rod and the rest of the Green Bay Packers the best chance to win. Question the plan. Like if I was building the Packers. I would build an offensive line mm-hmm. and a defense. 
Because to me, if you can keep him to 22, A-Rod's going to win 13 games a year. So I would draft a lot of defense and make sure I protect him. And they've done that. But take, but, but take a look at that. I, I don't have any any kind of stats in front of me. I don't have laptops. I don't have these devices. I, I don't have the um, the guys in the back right. on the computers grinding. And so you can say that we've drafted defensive players high for the last few years. Last few years. And so for whatever reason, are they either panning out or are they getting injured? There's an injury component to it. Mm -hmm. And so you can make a case that the Packers are drafting for the defense, but it's not working out. I I wouldn't say it's not working out. And I'm going to take you back to when I got there in 06. When we got there in 06, there was some talent there, but the losing was was not happening. And right. so they, they brought in McCarthy, and and so we we drafted. Uh, A.J. Hawk was the first guy ever drafted right. by, the, by the Packers. We had Nick Barnett. Yeah. We had a, uh, Al Harris. Yeah. Um, I want to say we had Cullen Jenkins. Our first free agent was Charles Woodson. And you won, by the way. And we were a dominant defense. Yes, briefly. Well, I'm just saying it didn't last long enough. I, Winston, <laughs> I'm being honest. I got to get the couple questions I want to get to here. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll, 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 I'll let you go on that one, but we'll circle back to okay. that one. I, I and, gotta... and, and so as time went on, the either either we let the players go, we moved on from them. Or a player missed. And we, have, and we haven't replaced them. Nick Collins. Yeah, I know. Bless, we could, bless, bless his heart. It just pro, didn't work uh, pro, out. Pro Bowl caliber, uh, Pro Bowl caliber, Hall of Fame caliber. Right. Got hurt. Yeah, I get it. I understand so, it. I, I understand that. But um, you, you – and, and so the guys that were drafted – Didn't work out. The guys – let me finish. I know. I got to get to these let questions. Me finish. The guys that were drafted – were were Ted is in the grooming philosophy. Okay, whatever. And so and so uh, no, it, it, he there, there's players in place. Think about it. When when Brett Favre, bottom line, no, 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 no. Listen, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Players. Let me finish. Brett Favre was in was not on a decline, but Brett Favre drafted Aaron to replace right Brett Favre. Right, and so he drafts to groom to, to groom. And so what happens is you now all of a sudden you get injuries, you get guys that are, and all of a sudden those guys that yeah, go, were were, go, were supposed to be in groom to be to blossom into Aaron Rodgers. And remember, go Aaron, pay Aaron for Rodgers, Khalil Mack. Aaron Rodgers had three years sitting on the bench, one year of internship in '08, in which he. Well, you could say you, you could say you have a, go spend but, money on Khalil Mack. It's all chatter. Spend for players. Green not, Bay not, doesn't spend not, on players. Not, now you're talking about one guy now. Well, no, I don't. You're I, I, guy I, guy now. By the way, you don't think Amari Cooper one guy? Matt, it's a players league. Go get players. Aaron hasn't been given good enough players. Go spend money on play. Now, you spend on. Sep- ch- I don't want to hear about draft picks. You got guys. Sep- go get them. Separate from the fact. Of our previous discussion. Well, Separate from the fact of our previous discussion. Here's what my audience cares whoa, whoa, whoa. about. Here's Separate what my audience fact, cares about. My, our, our, our previous discussion. Should you have gotten Khalil Mack? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's a player's league. Go get him. Go get him. Okay. I, you, got Go get him. you got Aaron Rodgers at 34. Go He's get He's got him. four years left. Go get players. You got to get players for I, him. I, so, so yes. we're, we're not in agreement, but but I'll say go get Khalil Mack. Okay, a couple <laughs> quick questions. Okay, Aaron Rodgers, bottom line. Did he get McCarthy fired? My, uh, Mark Murphy fired. He got Mike Murphy fired. No, Mark Murphy fired. fired. So Aaron didn't Mike fire Martin. him. So Aaron, Aaron had nothing to do with it. Okay, him. will Aaron have say in the next coach? Like I said yesterday, he should he should give his input. He should give, hey, why don't you guys take a look at yada 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 yada? But it should still go to the decision maker. Okay. It should still default to the decision maker. Josh McDaniels, strong opinion, Patriot guy. Would he fit with Aaron Rodgers? No. No. 
Why not? Why should he? What you tell me? You give because Aaron needs a little give, push. You give me Josh McDaniels' re- resume and tell me why he should. Why he's a why he's a good fit for. Aaron he's Rodgers. the best available coordinator on the market. He's the he's the Sean McVay's, the Matt Nagy's, the best available guy. Offensively, I'm not saying if you want to hire a defensive guy, go. He's the best available offensive coach on the market. Rings, titles, history, resume. So, no, he has Belichick and Tom Brady. Okay, so you don't think he's that good? I didn't say that. He has he has Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. All right. That's a good answer. I'm not knocking your answer. I may not have liked your defensive answer. I like that answer. Okay. I got to go. We got stuff to do here. We got Chris Carter. This is Winston Moss. You put your name on stuff today, and I love that. And I like arguing. I do, too. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.